Hi Tewis, here's Alexandra again and welcome to uh, part number three of uh, talking about the Tau. This time um, I want to talk a little bit about army composition, how I would build a Tau army if I would want to. So uh, let's dive right into that. Come on. Uh, so, um, yeah, forces of the Empire Commanders. So, um, we start with the HQ. I would uh, take an, um, a commander in a battle suit and um, I would equip him with um, two weapons. So, uh, army list. He can uh, take up to uh, um, uh, four items from the ranged weapons and the support system list. So I would uh, give him uh, as ranged weapons um, a burst cannon and a fusion blaster or a plasma rifle. Uh, depends on personal preference. And as a support system I would give him a drone controller and uh, maybe an advanced targeting system if you really want to or a target lock or a shield generator, whatever you please. So, but uh, the drone controller is very important. So, uh, after that, I would um, use a second uh, commanding unit here, the core fireplate, just as he is in the army list. No uh, upgrades, just with a pulse rifle and with his battle rule volley fire. So, that uh, would be the command. Then uh, for um, core units, obviously, I would use Fire Warriors and I would uh, use uh, between two and four units, depending on the size of the game, um, always half-half. Uh, the one half with uh, Pulse Rifles uh, standing in the back, full units, and the other half uh, with Pulse Carbines uh, and uh, equipped with a Devilfish as a transport choice. So, um... They are a good fireline unit. So then I would uh, go for pathfinders, but um, not equip them with uh, uh, drones. I would just use the pathfinders on their own and uh, also upgrade them with uh, three of the um, <coughs> uh, heavier weapons for uh, supporting fire. So um, the pathfinders, uh, one unit of them, because uh, we need the marker lights, but uh, they are not the main marker light unit, as you can see uh, later. They are there for support with the marker lights. Uh, Devilfish, of course. Uh, crisis teams I would not take, <laughs> so uh, strangely, but I would not take any crisis teams. Uh, broadside teams for heavy support, uh, yes, maybe one. One broadside team between uh, two and three models. Uh, stealth teams I would totally use. Um, I would uh, use at least one complete stealth team uh, with uh, six stealth suits and uh, with marker light drones. Then um, I would use two riptides. Yes, two. <laughs> because simply because I would uh, shoot one as a um, infantry killer and one as a um, as a tank hunter um, one with a, a heavy burst cannon and the other one with the uh, what is it called uh, with the ion accelerator here yeah, this one here so then uh, to the bestiary. <clears throat> so we have four elites, uh, one stealth team, two reptiles. Then for uh, standard troops, fire warriors. For fast attack, we have one unit of um, of uh, pathfinders. So and for the fast attack, otherwise I would use uh, where we have it. Come on, uh, drone squadron, and completely uh, consisting out of marker light drones. I would use a total uh, of twelve for them, and they 
will go with the commander in uh, in crisis suit because of the drone controller system. Normal drones have a ballistic, ballistic skill of 2, but if you accompany the squad with your commander with ballistic skill 5 and a drone controller, out of a sudden uh, you have 12 marker lines with ballistic skill of 5 that uh, hit very very uh, awesome and uh, that gives your whole army a total boost of marker lights and uh, all your supporting fire will uh, pretty much guaranteed to uh, hit. So um, the West Pits are uh, which, which category? I think they are fast attack. Yes they are fast attack. So uh, we have one uh, drone squadron then uh, we take uh, one Westpit Sting uh, squadron with um, also 12 models. <clears throat> they are accompanying the drone squadron. And uh, as the third fast attack, we have obviously the Pathfinder team. So, uh, back to the. No? So, and as heavy support, we had uh, already uh, one broadside team and uh, two uh, other stuff in the heavy support. We would use here one hammerhead gunship with a, a special character attached to it that, that uh, this tank has ballistic skill 5 and one skyray gunship with, uh, well, every upgrade that you like. So, and that uh, would be my army. <laughs> you could uh, boost that up with a second um, with a second army list if you wish to, to go for uh, bigger games, then you could uh, go for uh, other uh, models in the game. You could go for crisis suit teams. Come on here, models. Yeah. <clears throat> So uh, here the special character, uh, Hammerhead. <clears throat> you could go for... Uh, where do we have them? Come on. There we have them. Crisis Battlesuit teams uh, for more elite in the second uh, squad. Then you could uh, go for an ethereal uh, and maybe a second uh, color fireblade. Who knows? The Carter Fireblade uh, obviously goes with your uh, with your uh, Fire Warriors to uh, boost their firepower with a volley fire. And I think uh, that is a very hard hitting uh, army. The uh, Fire Warriors with the uh, Pulse Carbines with the Devilfish are supposed to uh, go closer to the opponent and uh, Fire their uh, weapons at them with uh, uh, assault weapons 18 inches, uh, assault 2. That is uh, very fearsome, and uh, yeah, with 18 inches, you can uh, pre measure everything. You're pretty much guaranteed that uh, normal infantry wouldn't be able to charge you next turn. Then you can uh, again drop them in the devilfish, drive them away if the enemy comes too close or is not killed properly. <laughs> Uh, obviously, the Riptides, uh, the two, will um, give enormous firepower to your army and uh, also be a little bit of a fire magnet. I would not equip them uh, with any kind of drones because um, that's one of the weaknesses. <clears throat> um, they are very fearsome, but they are not uh, immune to psychology. So um, if the enemy uh, kills one or two drones, uh, you have to take a morale check and uh, nothing is worse than uh, fleeing Riptide from the board. So uh, don't take any drones, even if the uh, drones might look nice to you. So other than that, that uh, would rip up my uh, <clears throat> my army list. Well, uh, obviously the commander uh, with his um, drones uh, jump around uh, closer to the opponent with the uh, uh, marker lights, accompanied by the stingwings, um, the Westpits, with their uh, awesome uh, AP3 weaponry, uh, their space marine killers, obviously, 
and uh, so yeah they are supporting each other and also uh, the marker lights are supporting the whole army and you can uh, piece by piece uh, kill the complete opponent I hope this uh, little in view about my view about the, uh, the Tau army list uh, helped you a little bit and we see us in the next video. Your Alexandra.